Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Friday, March 22nd. I want to introduce you to Dr. Anand Chakolinglam. And it's always a pleasure to have you here, Doctor, because you are one of the most interesting people I know to have a conversation with. Thanks so much uh, for having me, Paul. I last enjoy time you, it as always. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Last time you were here, we were talking about fasting. Um, today, you want to talk about being out in nature. And mm-hmm. and you're a, you're a heart doctor, right? Is being out in nature good for our heart? Definitely. That's I the reason agree, I, I wanted to there. highlight that. Yeah. Because if you look at our development over the last 200,000 years as human beings on this earth that we know to have existed, our life has been interconnected with nature, just right. like everything else in the natural world is. But only in the last 10,000 years, since we started agriculture, we became more uh, uh, separated, I would say, from the natural whims and fancies. So right. And and as we go on, day by day, many of us, who, do, who a lot of people who live in the cities, never really come in contact with nature at all. They'll maybe go from their apartment to their office building and then back from office building to a to a store and back to the apartment or house and you're not outside enjoying what is natural and where yeah. we should be that's how we evolved and that's how our body is designed our body is designed to, to be outside uh, Go out in the sun, for instance, that makes such a huge difference in the amount of vitamin D. We have done our own research here at Mizu saying the blood levels of vitamin D are so important to have a good control of blood pressure, cholesterol, heart attack risk, things like that. But if there is no exposure to the sun, if we are indoors all day long, we don't uh, have the opportunity to build that vitamin D naturally. Right. So all this is part so how of much, how who much we ex- are. How much exposure do we need Uh, to the sun to get enough vitamin D? I don't know of an exact number. Obviously, skin color makes a difference. I would need a lot more sun exposure being from India. But uh, being outdoors makes a lot of sense, at least an hour if we can get out there. And there is this concern about uh, skin damage and skin cancer, things like that, when we have lighter skin, especially if there is family history, things like that. But by and large, I would say, as a human being and as a society, we need to make the conscious effort to get out there and spend more time exploring nature. Yes. That way, for our health, for our body, for our mind, there are so many levels of benefit that I would take one hour. I know we don't have that much time today. <laughs> well, you wanted to talk about forest bathing. Yeah. What is forest bathing? I'm glad you brought that up. This is a concept I think it originated in Japan. What they say is, uh, through their studies, they have found that people are connected more with nature when they make a conscious effort to be outdoors, able to see, uh, hear, touch, and uh, smell nature as it is. So in outdoors, when they are walking, trekking, experiencing it for a few hours, they come back home so much uh, rejuvenated, re-energized. The stress levels have decreased substantially. There are studies saying that uh, if you look at the level of happiness that can be measured, level of uh, uh, confidence, all these things are higher when we are outside compared to being indoors. I agree with you 100%. I know personally I enjoy spending as much time as I can outdoors. I love the summer and the spring and the fall because I can be outside. I can be working in the soil, working in the yard, walking in the forest. In the wintertime, I could get depressed when we've had all this cold weather and the snow and you're stuck inside, you can't go out. It starts to bother me. And I think it's because I'm missing nature. Exactly. But luckily, even in this last few days, if you notice the temperature is low, but the sun is out there. And that makes so a what I then. try to do is when I go out for a 20-minute lunch break, I take my food and find a spot where I can actually get the sun's rays, although I'm indoors, sitting right by the window where the sun touches me. So that, that's a good way to experience some warmth. Yeah, That is one thing. And then I was talking about uh, forest bathing. One more thing about that is the brain waves that 
beta waves is when we are talking and actively thinking alpha waves occur when we are meditating and more calm more peaceful that sort of uh, transition happens naturally when we are outdoors so it, that there's science behind this relaxation that happens when oh, we're yes, outdoors our brain reconnects and rewires and performs at a different and a deeper level when we are out there in the nature so because we were designed to be outdoors yeah. right? our body more, was designed to be outdoors not to be stuck in front of a computer screen yeah. or a television screen all day long yeah correct yeah, exactly there was another story I read uh, this weekend, the fact that when young kids get out and play in the yard or play in the soil, mm -hmm. there are um, uh, enzymes or something that is released in the aroma from the soil that tends to make us feel happier. I believe that. Yeah. If you look at even one or two generations earlier, for instance, when we grew up, we would spend half the time or most of the time when we are free outdoors, yes. playing with friends, yes. connecting with people we know. Now, if you look at children, they just come home from school and they have so many classes. They are busy or they are more interested in spending time with screen, yeah. socializing. Yeah. On, that, on that phone, looking, looking at uh, emails or looking at Facebook. Put it down. Put it down and go outside and dig in the soil. Uh, now that, with the spring coming up, yeah, that with would the be a good thing up, to remind just, our uh, there's community. Something, <laughs> there's something special about smelling the good earth or the first part of spring when you start working yeah, in the garden. Definitely. And for us, being in mid-Missouri, we are very lucky to have so many beautiful trails, parks, yeah. nature areas, which uh, many of the urban areas may not experience. Yes. And so, all of this is good for your heart, right? Oh, directly benefiting the heart. Okay. That's what you tell your patients. I do. I do. All right. If people want more information, <laughs> doctor... Uh, how can they get in touch with you and where can they find this information? Yeah, I'm part of the University of Missouri in Columbia, so they can just Google us up. My name is Anand Chukalingam, and we are happy to okay. answer more questions anytime. Sure. What's the biggest thing that we can do to make ourselves feel better as we go into spring? Go enjoy the outdoors. I was hoping that's what you say. <laughs> go outside, spend as much time as you can outside. Definitely. And what's that you say? Smile. 20 thir times an 30, hour. 30, smile 30 <laughs> times an hour. <laughs> you made it 10 more. That's fine. <laughs> the more you smile, the better off you are. Thank you, Doctor. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for having me. We're out of time for today. If there's something you'd like to hear or see, drop me an email, pepperp at missouri.edu. Bye-bye.